Hello everyone, welcome to my Final Fantasy Let's Play, I hope you're doing well. Last episode was uh, <laughs> super interesting, pretty wild, a lot of, uh, lot of things happened, very important story stuff, so if you haven't watched that yet, uh, I suggest you go back and enjoy that episode, because it's one of the best so far. But now we are here in our new, new hideout. Five years after the events that happened at um, Oriflam, when we destroyed the Empire's Mother Crystal. So I'm really curious to see how they're doing now. But let's continue. We have a lot of catch up to do. So we need to speak with Otto, and then we will probably meet some more familiar faces. Luckily, not everyone died after Titan's attack, so we still have um, a few very important allies. Let's go. Oh, let me check. War is brewing. I can feel it. Okay, this is like the maps. Nice. It's like the the room, the <laughs> strategy room, conference room. Okay. Okay, let me read this. Okay, another chord. Uh, okay, yes, the it, that was the accord of almost 900 years ago that shaped uh, Valistia as it is right now between all the powerful uh, kingdoms. All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sent his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Okay, so this is the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. And also Gav is still alive. That's really nice, I really like Gav. He's been our our scout. Super important uh, duty. But let's see... Who's this woman? Vivian, okay. She's new. I... Trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Okay. Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, Recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would loot relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. 
It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And, of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet, in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Okay, the state of the realm. I really enjoyed this uh, this um, story and geography lesson. Very interesting. So unfortunately, yes, the empire managed to conquer the um, crystalline dominion. So they are more. Uh, they're building more and more armies more they're, be they're becoming more slowly more and more powerful and they can uh, go to war against uh, everyone else so that's that's not a good news for us but we'll see maybe walud and the dalmecan republic and the iron kingdom will join forces uh, all of them together against the empire i don't know uh, although the iron kingdom is uh, it's pretty far i mean Yes, they got uh, the Empire got Rose area, so they expanded to the west, but the Iron Kingdom is still uh, probably the most uh, safe um, of uh, all three enemies of Sombrakwa. But uh, we'll see, I'm really curious. Now we are going to probably Dalmechia um, to settle our score with uh, Hugo, and then uh, I don't know. So by speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current going-ons in Valistia, revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons, or take a deeper look at the relationship of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Okay, nice. Nice name, Nine Tales. I like. Um, I like her name. Cool Pokemon. Okay, so let's One must them, uh... understand one's place in the world. Here we can view. A detailed overview of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Okay, use L1R1 to cycle through pivotal milestone in Clive's adventure. Okay, nice. Oh, wow. So the Iron Kingdom. Okay, Rosaria with the blight pressing at Rosaria's borders and forcing ever more citizens of the Dashi from their homes. Archduke Elwin rallies his nation to take up arms against the Iron Kingdom and wrest Drake's birth from, from, their grasp, from their grasp. Its tradition dictates that they must first march north to Phoenix Gate to perform, okay, yes, the right of ancestral communion. This is like a recap. Yet yeah, that was um, 18 years ago. Okay, yes, this is uh, just a recap. Cool. Let's see the of characters. Course. Okay, you, we can view detailed visualization of character relationships in the game. Okay. Okay, this is... Um, yeah, okay, it's very detailed. It's useful if you didn't pay attention, if you, if you are replaying the game. Or maybe you just are playing once in a while. It's been a while and you don't remember 
much of uh, the events and the characters, so this is really detailed and explain everything. But I think I'm good for now. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. Nice. Thank you very much. Well, so let's see if we have information about her. Okay, Vivian and Nine Tails, a scholar and strategist who makes her home in the hideaway, analyzing every shred of information that comes in from the wider world in order to divine the dispositions of the realm's armies and those who lead them. She offers her insight to Clive that he might better understand the lay of the land. The moniker Nine Tails, of which she herself is fond, was gifted her by her fellow scholars in the recognition of her ability to speak at length on almost any subject. Okay. Okay, she is a scholar and a historian. Nice. I hope we'll go to the Crystalline Dominion because I'm curious to see what their domin what their icon would be. My money's on Leviathan. I think uh, he's the one for for the Crystalline Dominion, but uh, I'm not sure. At the moment, they don't have one, and that's also a mystery because uh, we know that when I um, Dominant dies, the next one uh, is born, or, or if they're still alive, they're already alive. They um, inherit the the power of the icon, so it's very peculiar that uh, that they don't have a uh, an icon right now. And of course, without an icon, they couldn't uh, fight back against the empire. So that's a shame. Old Tom said the hideaway is built inside an airship. Said it was called the Invincible. Okay, we have Tomes. Or Harpocrates, he survived. That's cool. Norseman Harpocrates. <sighs> now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Ready. <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head, but without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> Wait, what? The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them, however well they hide it. Titan took much from us that night, from some more than others, and the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. 
I should get some rest while I can. My knowledge is yours. Yeah, let's ask everyone about uh, what happened in the past five years because we we didn't see anything basically. So we have to rely on their their tales, their uh, informations. It has been difficult, certainly. Had you not let us hear. Okay, uh, maybe you... I have a few yes. new notes that might interest you. We can level up a little bit. Nice. What subject shall we consider today? Okay, so this is Costanis, where we were last time and we fought. And also, let's see, yeah, this guy. Typhon. Seemingly drawn to the destruction of the heart of Drake's head, Ultima emerged from a tear in reality. Wearing the, wearing the skin of Typhon, a withered and wizened colossus, and drew Clive into space between worlds, wherein the ethereal entity might test his worth as a vessel. Yeah, a vessel for what? And yes, we have Ramu, which we inherited the powers from Sid, which um, drove him back for a little bit and saved our life. Okay, so no informations about um, that Ultima guy, Mythos, yes. Okay, so we are. The name by which Ultima addresses Clive, it appears to be his title for the vessel for limitless power that he means to make the, of the young Lord Marquess. But to what end? He requires such a thing only Ultima knows. The vessel, okay. So I'm assuming we are the vessel to gain um, and absorb um, every icon's power. And then I don't know by... And then I don't know what uh, what's our purpose. For what purpose this Ultima and this uh, fallen civilization um, need us. But we'll see. Okay, this is the lake where we are right now. Okay, it's full of uh, fallen airships. To make this for a really great uh, view. Okay, we have update informations. Okay. Yes, if only, if only Joshua... Um, Alright, a, a couple of minutes before he would have been able to save Sid, but well, okay, let's make for the chambers. Not back a blink, and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. Could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? I noticed uh, Once the hole swept, that Clive had a, um, a scar on his face, and I wondered if it was from uh, the attack of Ultima, back at uh, Drake's head. But no, it it looks like uh, our crew just. Um, Got rid of the everyone. Got rid of their mark. So we do have a scar now that reminds us of our past as bearers, but we no longer have that mark. So we're all we're all free. We do have a scar, but uh, not no longer that. Um, this plank will have to be. That symbol of oppression.
which is cool, which, uh, you know, it's, um, it makes sense, it's, it's a new symbol, a symbol for a new future for us, and for everyone that is willing to be free and join our cause, that's really neat, I like it. Oh, Jill. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Okay, nice. The reading table. Reports, letters and other, other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in these chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. Okay, so Gav says... The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. And see you're done to wear upon my return. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without Mother Crystals. Oh, Joshua. Okay. Uh, where is he going? And so the North is lost. A 
I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this... This is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. What would make Martha leave the rest? Well, let's rescue Martha and hopefully um, her village won't be in shambles again. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. Well, never mind. Somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the holy throne conspiring to restore the house of rosfield to power hmm. i know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put naturally old martha could see the way the wind was blowing complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in and now she's missing if she's fallen into the hands of the empire we could be next a couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn they should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. All right. Nectar. What's up? Oh, okay, so uh, this is going to be the, the hunt's quest. So we can um, go around and, uh, and kill monsters and for, for reward. That's nice. Okay, she, she has new stuff. Here for another of my lectures. What is it that you wish to learn? Here? One must understand one's place in the world. Okay. The Crystalline Dominion. A most independent state straddling the continents of Storm and Dash, its capital Twinside is built on the tiny isles of Ark, from which its mother crystal, Drake's tail, rises. After Drake's head was destroyed in 873, the Holy Empire of Sembraqua declared Twinside its new capital in defiance of the long standing non aggression treaty. While controversial, controversial, the move carried out by Prince Dion and his knights Dragoon proceeded mostly opposed, largely due to the Dominion's lack of a dominant of its own with which to intimidate the interlopers. Yeah, okay, so that's why they managed to, to conquer. Okay. Very good. 
There's a quest here. <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, I checked it out. Um, that's a really... I gotta do that quest. That's a really funny name. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's rosy. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in it. Okay. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Okay, let's let's do this quest. I mean come on. A quest called Cock and Balls. <laughs> uh. Okay, the weather has changed. Okay, it's it's nearby. That's good. Cock, cock and bowl. Cock and bowl. Yeah. <laughs> They of course made it on purpose. Those easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. This one. Get him. Nice. And we got the wax. I can't imagine Obelus needing any more than this. Time to head home. Yeah, it was very quick. Let's go back. Yeah, those pesky quest designers. Making sus names in the in the side quests. Well find is one way of putting it. Okay, yeah. The quest is called Cock and Ball and the quest item is a sticky substance. Okay. It's almost as sus as the white stuff from the muscles. Reeks like a chargo. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, then white and... I think it's called in the original Demon Souls. It's called the um, white stuff, which is a, um, an item you can use to infuse your weapons with the magic. Oh, that's nice! Increases attack by twelve. Yeah, Sid. How is it? I never see you on the ferry.
Well, okay, for now I'll, I'll keep these uh, these three accessories. Let's proceed with the main quest. Oh, also yes, the, the the map has changed, so the Empire's mother mother crystal uh, has been destroyed, so it's no longer here. And now they are here. This is a new capital. And I wonder what this is. This giant uh, crater. But let's go to Martha's Rest. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. Mm. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Oof. The, Imper the Imperials really do hate this Cole place. Right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Jesus. Bearers of the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Oi, look sharp! Uh, okay, so... Yes, back there. So we need to go down with the elevator. Let's hope it's not too late. Let's hope we can still save those people. We have to be quick. Look. Up ahead. Oh, she, there she is. Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive, Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the enemy. Yeah, Black Shield doesn't uh, sound very nice. Are they maybe traitors? Like uh, people from Rosaria that turn to the Empire? So they became bad guys? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Are we too late? 
There might still be someone inside. The priest was... Fuck. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these are swords, we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Yeah, fuck these guys. I think so. Well, it was too late, but at least we got the uh, revenge. I didn't see the abbot. He may oh, still yeah, be alive. The, the abbot. Hmm, I don't know, maybe, maybe he managed to Fuck. hide. The abbot. Uh, they're all dead, I mean. The bearers died protecting him. We saved the Martha, but calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Nope. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone.
We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears... They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Ooh, what's what's that? Huh. Okay, Ari Ariman. Okay, so we have the notorious marks. Finally, I was waiting for this. Every now and then Clever may encounter creatures, larger, faster and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn, hi can earn him not only renown but also materials that may be used to craft the new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay, nice. Do you think it spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Oh, all yours, Torgal! This one. Oh, Jesus. That's better. Okay, Ooh. You didn't see that coming. So freaking annoying. Just, I, I was scared about the, uh, that attack. That doom attack. I was scared it was a an insta kill spell or something. 
Yeah, I get wrecked. Stupid. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Oh, nice. We must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I won't let their sacrifice be in vain. What in the world? Uh, if you don't mind, Sid. I'd like to stay here with Martha. <laughs> Just until she finds someone to guard the rest, that is. We'll return to the hideaway as soon as we've finished our ministrations. Yeah, maybe we should uh, we should bring some people with us because this place is really I demand recompense. This place is really not uh, ideal. Look short. Okay, we do have a uh, side quest that should unlock something new. I see what's up with that. But for now, that's it for this episode. Thank you a lot for watching. And thanks to sticking with me to the end if you if you watched this whole episode. Thanks thank you so much. I see you in the next one very soon. Take care and goodbye.